What's up, y'all? I'm gonna be giving y'all a short update on what's happening with these girls. I've been running through like a minor problem. First, I thought um I probably had a CalMag deficiency. It wasn't that. Then I thought maybe, hey, since it's not a CalMag deficiency, maybe I could hit them with some kelp or something, give them a little bit of boost. They probably could use that for the vigorous growth. It wasn't that. But long story short, my leaves were turning yellow. I was um, as you can see, they they're still paling. My leaves were turning yellow. Um, I was getting these like white veins. Let me see if I can get that and show you guys what I mean. Those white veins, telltale sign of CalMag deficiency every time. And another one is these purple stems right here. If it's not in your plant's genetic, those purple stems right there are gonna be telltale signs of CalMag deficiencies. So yeah, I thought it was that. So what I did was went out and instead of using my own organic CalMag, I went out and brought some organic CalMag because you know I'm an organic farmer, right? I went and brought some um, organic CalMag from Fox Farm and it worked It worked magic, like it worked wonders. It got rid of the deficiency for a couple days. I left out of town. My plants were doing fine. I seen like an explosive shooting within those two days of me leaving and coming back. Um, I thought the plants was on good terms. So I left them, not paid too much attention, didn't pay too much attention to them. Um, they still looked hungry a couple days later. So I said, you know what? Let me hit them with a little bit of cow mag and some kelp. So that's when I introduced the kelp. Organic kelp, guys, of course. And I'm going to show you guys what it is. Same thing from um, Fox Farm. Sorry, guys. Like the cow mag, the kelp help you uh organic i threw some of that in did the recommended dosage again guys plant just took off for a little bit again and just loved everything and i seen it wasn't working i introduced the bat guano i mean the big bloom with the bat guano in it my plants always love this every time i grow i always throw this in it no matter what if i'm making a tea if i'm just feeding it cow mag if i'm just giving it regular water it doesn't be regular water because i'm adding this so at all times guys yes I'm always giving my plant that. She responded well, but I'm saying to myself, geez, okay, I know me and I know my potential. These plants could be a lot bigger. Look at that. They could be a lot bigger than what they are from being three weeks and a couple days from germination. They could be a lot bigger. So I'm like, yeah, you know what? Something else got to be. So then I'm like, you know what? What's the only thing that they're lacking that I haven't given to them that I'm trying to deprive them from? Nitrogen. Stupid me. I forget to give these girls nitrogen. I forgot, guys. I was putting it off because I said to myself, I got a compost back there that should have been somewhat ready. I could have top dressed it. And if you guys don't know what top dressing is, I'll probably do a whole other video on that too. I could have top dressed it and I was just too busy guys and I wasn't able to do it so I went out instead since my nitrogen plant failed I went out and got some of this from planet green planet sorry guys from my local hydroponic store and it actually works pretty good if you ask me I only used it once I used the um cuttings and seedling feeding for these freaking big hungry girls guys come on these girls are here you know they're hungry three weeks from germination from the exact day I put them they um showed the little seedling in the paper towel this is three weeks and like two days from that day you know these girls are hungry and especially they're being organic you know these girls could eat so me being dumb i gave them the little um seedling feeding which is only four milliliters and this thing being a four three three four milliliters of that they ate that thing up like this guys and showed me a trick sign of looking like they were good they just had green leaves for the day and that was it other than that it was like yeah these girls are just starving so i said to myself that stuff this stuff works good but it's going to take a lot more to give these girls what they need so what i did was today i did the heavy recommended dosage i went i went ahead and put in the recommended dosage of this this is going to be the first time guys i ever even mix all the all these things together because this is my this is going to be my second time using this so i went in um second or third time sorry and it is organic like i said i went and um added some of the cow mag from fox farm i went and added the big bloom from fox farm see guys i stayed away from grow big because the grow big isn't organic so you can you get it yeah but I, and i, I could have cheated guys i could have cheated gave them grow big and said oh yeah i'm still going organic i'm true to what i do i'm not gonna lie to you guys and i don't expect you to lie to me too don't that rhyme yeah okay but i went with this which is organic i went with the big bloom which is organic and i went with the kelp again guys which is organic um 
and then I went with the planet green, which is organic. They say, guys, this Medi one right here is supposed to be able to take care of everything. Me personally, I don't do that to my plants. I rather give them everything. If you could back up a little, please. I don't know how close you are, but you know, if I rather give them everything just so they can see, I rather give them everything, guys, just so, um, because I got a problem with feeding my plants and watering them every single other day. I hate it, guys. I rather give them everything to see what they don't need and wait for them to starve because I like to, um, let my root system dry out so I can get oxygen to the roots. And then to me, just my, my own personal experience, it brings bigger buds. So yeah, guys, this is what I'm using right now. I might run this for a couple more weeks. If it works good, I'm going to keep running this. There you go, guys. I don't hide anything from you. So if you like what you see my plans are doing, this is it right here. Responsibility to it. And go ahead and run you guys some girls. Stay tuned, guys. Right, let me put this down. Stay tuned, guys. Like the freaking channel. Subscribe. I mean, like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Share it with everybody because, like I said, I'm literally showing everybody how to do things organic. This is a cheap setup, guys. You can go even cheaper. If you need help, hit me up in the comments or the um, email. My email is going to be... Um... Crap, I forgot it. I made a new email, guys. I'll put it up. Let's see if I can hide from this video. Somewhere. I'll put it up. I don't know. Anyways, you email me if you guys need help. Um... Uh, I'm willing to help anybody, guys. I got some free seeds I can give out too, so I'll probably do a giveaway with that. But anyways, guys, just stay tuned. I'm going to be doing updates. This was just a short update. I'm going to be doing more updates when these girls get better, showing you how they actually look. But I did give them the water, and so I'll go ahead and just bring you guys back and show you how they look and what they've been doing and what they've been up to. Anyways, guys, peace out. Thank you. Like, subscribe, and share the video. Tell everybody that I'm organic. The best way to be. Bye, guys.